Hello, good morning and welcome to the channel Honest Reviews of Everything. Here we are in sunny St. Helens. It is a fantastic day and if we look around, look, an actual real car park in a hotel that you do not have to pay for. Absolutely amazing. So yet yeah, here we are, we're at the Mercure here in St. Helens. This is where I'm staying today. Lovely hotel from what looks of it. First impressions are good. Lovely outdoor seating area. Yeah, I think we're going to enjoy this one. Nice clean reception area, plenty of seating. Okay, so I'm going to take you on a quick walk through on my room here in the Mercure St. Helens. So yeah, but let's get to it. As we enter the room on the right, we have um, iron and board and iron, which are both in great condition. Plenty of coat hangers, my suit hanger. We have a hairdryer up there. There was some spare towels, but I've used a couple and then some spare bedding up there. Bathroom, very, very clean and tidy. Was very impressed with the amenities inside as well. The um, hand wash was really, really good quality. And then as we pan around, the shower was fantastic. I have had a shower, so excuse the towels, but really, really good, powerful shower. And again, both the shampoo and the um, body wash was brilliant quality. Sometimes at a lot of hotels, you get a bit of rubbish um, shampoo and conditioner and stuff, but that one was really, really good. So into the room itself, I, I do apologize. I've got all the lights on. It is a little bit dingy in here, although I did have a fantastic sleep. The, the blackout curtains were brilliant, the whole room, pitch black, and one of the best sleeps I've had in ages. The bed, um, very, very comfortable, although as what tends to happen in a lot of hotels, you can probably see the, the line down the middle. It is two single beds pushed together, and one of them did seem to be a little bit taller than the other. So it was um, a little bit strange, but very, very good sleep. Very, very pleased with it. Also, the quality of the sheets were very, very nice as well. Good high cotton thread bear. Good workspace, plenty of plug sockets on there. And then we had um, good quality tea and coffee. Really, really good stuff. Like I say, Nescafe, Twining's tea bags, even a couple of little biscuits, which I scoffed la late last night when I got in because I was starving. Good size TV, basic chair in the corner. Again, plenty of space and then um, a room with a view <laughs> or lack of it. <sighs> um, really, really pleased with this actual room itself. Like I say, for the money I paid here in St. Helens, 70 pounds, that includes breakfast and no complaints whatsoever. So I'm then gonna pop downstairs and have a bit of breakfast and um, I'll come back up and give you an overview in a little while. Thank you. Hot food selection, vegetarians. Very nice. Okay, looking forward to my breakfast. Ingredients look good quality. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened with the um, caramel cappuccino that came out like that, but the caramel latte second time around worked fine. And then I've got a nice glass of, I believe, cranberry juice. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so that's pretty much it on the video today. Just going to give you some of my thoughts on this um, hotel here in St. Helens, which is the Mercure. Um, really, really pleased with my stay, to be honest with you. Like I say, from when I arrived to me pretty much leaving now, there's been no issues whatsoever. Some of the great stuff on the hotel, number one, the price. Like I said, it was around about £70. Nothing to pay for the car park, really big car park outside. Reception area, really big and spacious, clean. And there's just like this lovely smell everywhere you go around the hotel. I keep noticing it. It's like a lemony smell. It's just fresh and something that I'm not used to in hotels at all. Really, really big well done. 
for that there. Um, like I say, breakfast, really, really good quality food, ingredients, plenty to choose from. A couple of hotels I've stayed in recently, you, you, I'm queuing up waiting for few food or I go to the, the hot glassy counter and there's nothing there and there's nothing more annoying. But the um, staff were very, very attentive, very, very pleased with every experience I had this morning. A little bit of a hiccup with the coffee machine. I don't know what happened to my first drink, but second time around, it made one perfect for me. Um, the room itself, really, really comfortable, spacious, not too hot. The aircon worked perfectly, really, really clean. Very, very happy with the, um, the bed, let's say comfortable, good quality sheets. The bathroom was really, really good. There, there really isn't anything I can moan about, if I'm being honest with you. And um, if you've watched me previously, then you'll know I, I do love a good moan from time to time. But no, nope, can't really fault it. The, um, let me think, the... The hotel itself is positioned probably a five, six minute walk from the town centre, so not too bad. I was working pretty late last night, so there wasn't anything for me to, that's a lot of restaurants are closed, so I just grabbed a quick bite to eat at a famous chicken shop that is Portuguese, so I'm sure you can all decipher that out and work that out for yourselves. But when I got back into the hotel, I decided to go have um, a little drink in the bar. I was quite surprised, that was probably one of the negatives of the hotel, that. The bar area seemed very, very, very small. I would say maximum you're going to fit perhaps 20 people in the, bar, the whole entire bar area. Whether or not you can like spill out into the reception area, which is obviously from the video you can see very, very spacious. But yeah, the bar area seemed to be a little bit of an afterthought. So that's probably one of the negatives I do have with this hotel. Um, very disappointed that I forgot my um, leisure stuff. They've got a, a brilliant leisure centre downstairs. I had a quick... Um, talked to a receptionist yesterday and she asked when I, when I checked in and she was asking if I wanted to book a slot in the leisure suite. Very, very in order, didn't bring it. They've got full gym, swimming pool. So like I say, if you're coming to the Merca here in St. Helens, make sure you bring your trunks because like I say, it, it um, from the pictures I've seen online, it looks very, very nice and I'm annoyed. So in, in total, like I say, yeah, this hotel, would I stay in it again? Absolutely, definitely. I'd recommend it to anybody. If you're in St. Helens, for whatever reason, I'm assuming St. Helens, maybe the rugby fans out there, there's a lot of people who like rugby. Like I said, this could be an ideal hotel for yourself. Very, very, very well priced, very competitive. Overall, very pleased. Four stars, definitely well, well worth a visit next time if I'm in St. Helens, although I can't think why I would come back. But you never know. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today. My name is Danny. Um, this is the channel on reviews of everything. I'm on my travels, as you like to say, well know, I'm out and about. There may be some more videos coming up shortly of some more hotels I stay in. It's a beautiful day here in St. Helens. I hope you all have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.